Rhode Island's fishing industry is getting a much needed shot in the arm. Today, local leaders announced millions in federal funding to help upgrade the Port of Galilee in Narragansett, one of the largest commercial fishing ports on the East Coast. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lance has the details that are new at five. I toured the Port of Galilee today and witnessed some of the most damaged areas at the pier. The port's manager says for years he's been putting a band-aid on a problem that needed the proper funding for a much larger fix. Great benefits of this project is will be... Port manager Daniel Costa says he's relieved. We have some, uh, some extreme damage. Because after rallying for a change, he says finally, Galilee Port is going to get the makeover it needs with a federal grant of $2.9 million. One of the great benefits of this project project is we'll be able to fix portions of the bulkhead. Costa says every year the same sinkholes are refilled and loose pieces of metal are only temporarily repaired, straining the process of the $200 million fishing industry in New England. This is big. This is an investment in our bulkheads here, and I like to talk about Rhode Island building on our assets. Governor Lincoln Chafee and state lawmakers held a press conference Friday thanking the U.S. Deputy Assistant Secretary of Commerce, Matt Erskine, who traveled from his office in Washington, D.C. State and federal leaders say the goal is to help keep Galilee as one of the most globally productive fishing ports on the East Coast by avoiding 685 job cuts and creating 21 new jobs. It's extremely important for maintenance to continue these improvements, you know, support the commercial fishery and the fishing fleet in Galilee. Governor Lincoln Chafee says the $2.9 million federal grant will be matched by the state, making the total cost in funding $5.8 million. Reporting in the newsroom, Shante Lance, Eyewitness News.